praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. Now, the Lord spoke with me again about the meeting that is coming up in Nigeria, in Lagos. This past night again, the Lord Jehovah, he came to speak with me about the tremendous meeting and revival that is coming up in Nigeria, in Lagos. And the Lord showed me the healing service. And when his servant went towards the people, then the Lord showed me how his glory left his servant and touched people there and they were healed. I saw the glory of the Lord leave his servant and touch people there. And then the Lord spoke by voice and said, look, the glory has touched them. So this is going to be a big, big opening for Nigeria. It looks like now we are sitting at the brink of a major, major, major visitation for Nigeria. The church and the people of Nigeria, they are sitting at the brink, they are sitting on the verge of a major revival. If they will catch this, and the Lord has spoken repeatedly and consistently about the revival in Nigeria, the Lord Jehovah, he has spoken about cleaning up the church first, to bring about repentance in the church, the turning away from sin, the gospel of money, the gospel of lies, the false prophets of Nigeria that are known world over, the false apostles of Nigeria that are known world over, the gospel of deception of Nigeria that comes from Nigeria. The Lord is going to change the order in the church. And it's going to centralize holiness again at the center of the practice of Christian worship in Nigeria. So again, the Lord has spoken with me severally about this very important occasion of his visitation in that land, taking me to their homes, taking me to their churches, taking me to their streets, making me stand there and stop the taxis with them, making me sit there and listen to the Bible studies with them, how the world has been perverted to a more earthly gospel, a gospel for living well, that to live well on this earth, promises of this world. Yeah, the Lord has spoken profoundly about the church in Nigeria. And the disposition of the heart of the Lord is now for love, for loving Nigeria. But that will only come after repentance. And so it looks like the Lord is going to a huge purging of the dross from the church and the pulpit to Nigeria. This is the moment for the priesthood and the pastors in Nigeria to celebrate. But finally, the Lord has remembered the church in Nigeria. Nigeria has been known for proverbial material gospel, the commercialization of the gospel, of the cross, the blood, and name it. But now they are going to hearken again back to the gospel and the salvation of the cross and the blood of Jesus. And that is a holy salvation. May the heavens open, open in Nigeria. May the people of Nigeria live to remember this hour. Shalom.